All right. Um, Jeepers and uh, wiring folks who are trying to wire in extra LEDs on your sound bar in my Jeep, JKU 2014 Jeep. Okay, so it took me a few minutes to figure this wiring out, but because um, I don't really do wiring that often. However, for those of you who are wanting to tie into your dome light, it's it's not that hard. It just um, I originally thought that the yellow with the black, since it's a power and it goes to the temporary on-off switch here, that that would be. Um, where I wanted to wire into. However, when I wired into that yellow as my power, when the lights would dim out, they would blink. The the LEDs would blink. This light would go out, but these lights, all of them would blink. Okay. Now, I know that the, my camera is a little bit shaky here. The yellow wire and the yellow and black wire are power in. The brown wire on your harness to your dome light is your ground. The yellow, solid yellow wire is the wire that <coughs> sub, uh, supplies power to the switch when the door is opened. The yellow with the black stripe here, that that is the power that is supplied to the temporary on off. Okay. <clears throat> so again, if you choose to wire in your red power wires into the yellow and black, if you install too many LEDs, they blink. And I think that's because it's there's a, there is a, some residual current um, that overpowers the resistors inside the that are automatically in, um, installed in these LEDs and allows for uh, a pulse of power to go through. And then once that pulse of power is is dissipated through the capacitor um it pulls a little bit more juice and then it charges that capacitor and it discharges so you end up with a blinking so the way that i solved it was to move my power wires for all four of the leds to the solid yellow and now when i close my doors they dim out and they don't blink. But they don't work when I hit this temporary switch. Because there's no power going from here to the LEDs. Only from here to the LEDs. Um, I had kind of hoped for a solution for both. But I don't see that working unless I get creative with my wiring um, back to my LEDs and splicing off two power wires um, and then one power going here and one power going there. It's possible, I'm, and I might try that, but I've already shrinked everything here and I think I'm actually okay with it because the lights coming on when I open the doors gives lots of illumination but if I'm driving down the road and you know the kids want to turn on a light here it's minimal it's not super bright behind me um, the only downside is that if you're sitting still and you want a little extra illumination you have to open the door um but, but i'm actually okay with that so let's let's recap this real fast for those of you because who want to know i have not found a single instructional video how to do this if you wire in your leds i installed one here here and you can see those two one there 
and one over there. These were just some cheap rock lights that I bought on Amazon and I left out the rubber grommets. I wired those in, installed them, wired them through with some, you know, some uh, 16 gauge. This is heavily shielded wire. And I'm wiring it directly into my light bar so there's, you know, nothing running to a fuse panel or what. Everything runs off of that red or your power goes to solid yellow. Don't, uh, unless you're going to get creative with your wiring, don't even cut the yellow and black. Your grounds will go to your brown wire. Your black goes to brown, red goes to solid yellow, and nothing goes here. And that's how you wire in the LEDs, the way that I wired them in. Now, some people may have a better idea of how to do it, but red, solid red to solid yellow, and then solid black to brown, will allow for the lights to turn on when you open the doors and dim out properly. But the temp on off switch won't work unless you were to Again, go back down to your original wiring that goes into this harness here where I've already shrinked it together. Um, and run a power, splice a power off of here up to this. And then you could possibly get a temporary on off and when it opens up. Um, but I'm, I'm actually okay with it. I've, I've worked on, been kind of messing with it for, you know, a little, you know, a couple of hours trying to, uh, figure it out. Um, you know, cause originally I wanted, didn't want, I wanted to, I wanted them temp on, temp off all the time and not when the doors opened in the beginning so that if I needed them, I could click, I could click the button and they came on. But for whatever reason, um, it won't allow it won't let me do it the wiring in here won't let me do it 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 just it's just not it's just not working properly so hope this is a instructional video for anybody who was looking for it wiring leds directly into the dome light wiring harness for a jku 2014 jeep jku i right, hope you enjoyed the video Goodbye.